most exciting moment in my process is, is the very beginning. When I walk into my studio and there's a massive white canvas, it's, I describe it like meeting a lover for the first time. That excitement, that nervousness, I, I become slightly neurotic and I sit and I wait and I try to stretch that out as long as I can. I started painting when I was around five years old. At the same time, I started dancing. Um, and I danced and painted all my life. Uh, I danced professionally for many, many years in a few companies in New York. And my kneecaps dislocated and I had to stop dancing. And that frustration fueled my painting. I started trying to paint my own body as a way to convey movement. And what ended up coming out when I started to try to paint my own body were horses, legs. And I, I couldn't figure it out. I, I, I couldn't understand it. And then I delved in deeper and I realized that somehow subconsciously I was identifying with a, a lame horse, a horse having become lame and therefore not being able to do what it was meant to do. So I went to Sarah Lawrence College in New York and I majored in art and dance. And then after that, I studied at the Art Students League of New York. From Goya to Degas to Susan Rothenberg um, to Cecily Brown, Charlene Von Hale, who I had a studio next to in New York, who was an outstanding painter. Finding myself uh, following female artists more recently, um, and not necessarily by choice. I think I'm more drawn to, recently more drawn to to the way that they paint. Uh, according to my, my mom, when I was five, I, um, they took me to an exhibition of Georgie O'Keeffe and I would sit uh, and they couldn't take me, they couldn't take me out of the museum. I just, I was transfixed by her work. It is the one thing that I would advise to young artists today to not necessarily go and look at other painters like themselves, but to go seek out other art forms and be inspired by those. I just need to paint. I just need to get to the studio more every day for as long as I possibly can.